Hello coders, I hope you are coding well. In the previous video, we created the functionality to automatically create the admin account. And after this, we created a method to check for the duplicate email in our Spring Boot application. And in today's video, we will create sign up user API call in our backend application. So let's get started. So in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to create a method in the user service. And to do this, we will open user service implementation class. And in this class, we will start writing a new method and this method will return a user. And we will name this method as create user. And in the params of this method, we need to accept the user and we will name this as user. And after this, in this user, we need to set the role. And to do this, we will use our user and we will call a method set role. And in this, we need to pass the user role. So we will use user role enum. And after this, for the value, we will pass user. And after this, we need to save this user. And to do this, we will write a return statement and we will use our user repository. And after this, we will call save method. And in this, we will pass user. And in our Angular application, we will only allow to create the users by this sign up API because we already have the admin account. And with this, our create user method is completed in the user service implementation. And now let's copy this. And after this, we will open user service and we will mention this here. And after this, let's go back to user service implementation. And from this class, this time, let's copy this has user with email method. And after this, we will go back to user service and we will mention this here as well. And after this, to call these methods, we need to create a controller. And to do this, we will right click on our quiz server package and we will choose a new package and we will name this package as controller. And after this, we will right click on our controller package and we will choose a new Java class and we will name this class as user controller. And after this, we will annotate this class with at the rate rest controller annotation. And after this annotation, we will add the annotation of request mapping and we will import this from web.bind.annotation. And after this, for the URL, we will give API slash auth. And after this, we will add one last annotation, which is cross origin. And after this, for the allowed region, we will set static. And then we need to inject user service in this user controller. And to do this, we will use at the rate auto wide annotation. And after this, we will write private user service. And we will import this from quiz server dot service dot user package. And after this, we will name this as user service. And after this, we will start creating a method and this method will return a response entity. And we will import this from org.springframework.http. And after this, we will name this method as sign up user. And in the request body, we need to accept the user. So we will add the annotation of request body. And after this, we will mention user and we will name this as user. And after this, in the body of this method, first of all, we need to check the user email. And to do this, we will write if condition. And in this, we will use user service and we will call has user with email method. And in the params of this method, we need to pass the email. So we will write user and we will call a method get email. And after this, if this is true, then we need to throw an error. So we will write a return statement and we will return a new response entity. And in this for the message, we will send user already exist. And after this, we need to set the response status. And to do this, we will use HTTP status dot not acceptable. And if this is false, then we can create our user. And to do this, we will create an object of user and we will name this as created user. And after this, we will use our user service and we will call a method create user. And in the params of this method, we will pass the user. And after this, we need to add a check for our created user. 
so we will write if condition and in this we will use our created user and we will check if it is equal to null and in this case we will write a return statement and we will return new response entity and in this for the message we will send user not created come again later and after this for the status we will return http status dot not acceptable and after this if our created user is not equal to null then we need to throw the success message and to do this we will write a return statement and we will return new response entity and after this in the body we will send the created user and at the end for the status we will return http status dot ok and after this we will annotate this method with at the rate post mapping annotation and for the url we will give this as slash sign up and with this our sign up user api call is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors and now let's go to the postman and let's test our sign up user api and in the postman for the request type we need to select post and after this we need to give the basic url which is http localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the controller url which is slash api slash auth and after this we need to give the method url which is slash sign up and after this we need to pass the request body as well so we will click on body tab and after this we will select raw and in the request body first of all we need to pass the name and i will give the value as test and after the name we need to pass the email and i will give this as test at the rate gmail.com and at the end we need to send the password and i will give this as test and after this to call the api we will click on this send button and as you can see we got the response 200 ok and in the response body we got the created user where the id is to email is test at the rate gmail.com and at the end the role is user and now let's click on this send button to call the api again with the same data and as you can see this time we got 406 not acceptable error and in the response body we got the message user already exist and this is because we already have a user with test at the rate gmail.com and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create a sign up page in our angular application